Now wait just a minute, before you carry on to what will surely be a very entertaining video, it is well worth bearing in mind that this is a sponsored video. Indeed, the fine people at Hofgard Games uh, slung me some cash in order to make it. I took the cash, I made the video, and you can find out more information about this filthy transaction in the description. Welcome to Startup Company, a game all about making a company that you're just starting up for the first time. Well, the clue's in the title, really, isn't it? The basic principle for the company is that you have to create some kind of digital platform kind of deal and uh, compete against the best in the business. Now, I decided to go for a social media platform because I'm terribly social, and uh, I came up with a company called Cheerio. Uh, it's, a, it's a new kind of social network. The, the basic principle is that uh, upon sign up, it immediately imports all of your contacts from every other social network and or website that you are part of. And then when you feel like it, uh, you can basically say cheerio to them and, uh, and block them from everything ever. Basically, it's a way of unfriending everyone at once when the need arises. And uh, I think it's a public service that more and more people are likely to need. Uh, so to start off, I've uh, I've claimed this uh, this tiddly little well, it's a garage, isn't it? They say it's an office, but much like all estate agents, particularly commercial estate agents, they sell you some right old tat, charge you a ruddy fortune, and uh, and just get it going. Now, obviously, I'm chairman of the board, um, but I've got uh, I've got my CEO uh, Spock Bumson taking care of business. And the first thing, well, the first piece of business he needs to take care of is we've got to get ourselves at least one developer. Well, I mean, one developer's not going to cut it. We're going to need quite a few developers. Um, so, uh, so let's get them hired, and uh, and then we'll we'll seat them somewhere. So we've got our first staff. Now this office will only uh, accommodate 10 people in total, so I've got to be a little bit careful uh, about exactly what it is that I'm doing. Um, but uh, we've got our initial staffing on board. Uh, we've got Chaz Contraband and uh, Miss Florida 1997. Uh, as she insists on calling herself, and that's our research department. Uh, basically, they're going to ensure that we can continue uh, developing new things, fundamentally. Uh, then I've got my uh, my tag team combo of developers, uh, Mr. Bingo Hazmat and Ms. Cindy Vapid, uh, who are programming away, making all of the different components for the website so that we can create a landing page that's going to be absolutely beautiful, uh, full of all sorts of lovely clickbait. Oh, 10 reasons you didn't know you hated all your friends. That kind of reasons, that kind of thing. Uh, number six may shock you. Number two won't be any surprise whatsoever. Uh, and then we've got Tonya Spangle, uh, who is our graphics designer, and uh, she's going to make sure that the whole thing uh, looks suitably uh, suitably splendid. Plenty of, plenty of arrows, uh, calling stuff out in yellow, um, I, uh, have a look at the thumbnail for this video. It'll probably give you a good idea of what to expect. Some idiot's gurning face all over it. That you know, that kind of that kind of thing. So we've got a landing page already, and uh, and that needs leveling up uh, in order to be effective. Uh, and obviously, it needs components in order to level up. Uh, when you make it effective enough, it makes people smile, uh, and that's that's a good thing. Smiley people uh, tend to throw their friends away far more regularly. Uh, and then. Uh, we also need to uh, to figure out our second component, but we're going to need some research points to do that. So in the first instance, uh, we're basically just going to tune up the landing page and then make it run as efficiently as possible. Because the more users you load onto your site, uh, the, uh, the greater the likelihood that the whole site falls over quite significantly. So here we are now on day 14. And, uh, and I've taken on another couple of members of staff. Uh, I've done the research and, uh, and we figured out that actually we need some lead developers. Um, and what lead developers are properly useful, well, it's, it's the only reason you hire them, is that they take the basic modules that my, uh, my main developers are, uh, are pulling together and they combine them into something significantly more complex. And, uh, and we need something significantly more complex because now I have to make a video module. Well, I don't have to. It's the feature I've decided that will really make uh, Cheerio.com uh, absolutely, absolutely nail it um, in terms of uh, appeal. So we've got Margot Spatula and, uh, and Frank Fiasco are, uh, are getting it done in terms of banging those modules together. And before too long, we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to launch uh, the video functionality on the site. Uh, I figured that, uh, that as CEO... 
um, uh, Bunsen might be interested in uh, in making the the original announcement uh, when we put the feature live. But no, he's asked me as chairman of the company uh, to make that happen. Hello, customers. Colonel Failure here, chairman of Cheerio.com, uh, the finest social media outlet that you're ever going to need uh, if the need that you have is uh, getting rid of all your friends. We'll help you get rid of them using this video module here. Uh, now, using it couldn't be any simpler. Even a child can manage it. In fact, a child could probably manage it with no problem at all, but you older people are going to struggle somewhat. So all you do is you press the record button, and then you put together a pithy message like this. Steve, it's just not working out anymore, mate. You haven't given me my mower back. We're done. I'm unfriending you from everything. Cheerio. There you go. I said it was easy. Anyway, I'm Colonel Failure. You're on Cheerio.com. Subscribe now and what have you. I hate you now. Cheerio. Cheerio. So here we are. It's day 31. Uh, the new uh, video module is going off a storm. Uh, we have actually managed to get ourselves a few extra punters on board. Uh, we're, we're not spectacular yet, uh, but we're running a consistent uh, concurrent user base of 200 plus people. So, uh, so that's that's pretty super. The only downside to that is that the uh, the servers have had it. Um, we're using cloud servers at the moment, but that's meant that I've had to uh, to hire myself a server technician, and uh, and that's Jeff. Uh, Jeff has come on board to look after the service. IT fellas, they're always called Jeff. Uh, they always sit in uh, in a secluded office uh, somewhere, and they've always got all the best stuff. Um, this should come as no surprise to any of you. But uh, this is the one truism of, uh, of pretty much all IT professionals, is that they're called Jeff. They're in a, they're in a nice office where they keep to themselves, unless summoned, and, uh, and they've got all the best stuff. We've also taken on board another lead developer, uh, Lance Splendid. Uh, he's rather fond of himself, uh, but he does uh, he does know a thing or two. He, well, he knows his way around a, around a dev kit, let's put it that way. Um, and he's on board and, uh, and getting it done. Now, the big downside that we've got here is that we're all out of desks. Um, and that's a, that's a bit of a pain. Um, because I, I could do with hiring some more people. And the only way that I'm going to, uh, to get around that is to, uh, is to get a new office, uh, which is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be pricey, and I'd rather not spend the money. In fact, I'd rather take the money that we've made so far and just leave. I mean, it should be pointed out that at this stage, I haven't made any money at all. Uh, the website itself just runs a massive loss. Um, but I've got venture capitalists who keep, uh, who just, just keep flinging me cash. And I keep going, well, thanks very much for the cash. Because, you know, I'm not an idiot. I'll take the cash every time it's offered. Um, so we're doing a bit more research, and we're going we're gonna to figure out an ad module. Um, because, uh, well, who doesn't like ads? Everybody loves them. Uh, the more ads you can have, uh, the better. And, uh, and therefore, I've, uh, I've worked on, uh, on some more ads. Speaking of which... Yeah, I never put ads in the middle of my videos, but in this case, I thought it was a good gag, so I did it anyway. Um, right, okay, so research is going on, but we are going to need to upgrade the premises, otherwise we're never going to expand. Uh, and I think I'll probably do it as soon as I've got this research done. Uh, the other new feature in the office, of course, don't know if you can make it out, we bought a plant. Some people apparently uh, were feeling a little bit gloomy, uh, so I thought a plant would... Uh, uh, would boost their morale significantly. I also ordered a coffee machine uh, just to keep them perky. Uh, I don't touch the stuff myself, but I've, I've put it behind Bunsen's desk uh, so that anybody who wants a cup of coffee has to walk straight past him. I've worked with people that spend their entire day in the coffee room slash kitchen or whatever you want to call it, and it seems like every five minutes they're up and about and having another coffee rather than doing any ruddy work. Uh, so I've, uh, I've covered this by making sure that if they want a coffee, they've got to walk past the boss in order to do so. I mean, that said, the boss currently doesn't have an awful lot of work on, and he is spending his time, um, well, I don't know what he's doing, really, but, I mean, you know, nobody can see his screen, so he could be up to anything. It's, given it's Bumson, it's probably best not to ask, though. Well, it's now day 45, and I've decided to take the plunge and, uh, and upgrade us to a new office building. Uh, this one is capable of handling 20 people. Uh, gracious me. Uh, we've given Tonya some company in the form of Sven Event Horizon, and, uh, and he informs me uh, that what would make him happiest uh, were if I were to uh, sack both Cindy and Tonya. 
I don't know what Sven's problem is, um, but he's got one, clearly. Uh, we've also hired our first marketing person uh, in the form of Tallulah Gibbering Sponge. And, uh, and she's lovely, uh, but she hasn't actually got an awful lot to do at the moment. So I've said uh, she should just sit in the corner and, and I used air quotes, market. And she seemed to take that to heart. Um, so she's off doing that. Now, the reason she's not actually doing anything useful is I haven't researched it yet. Uh, I'd rather put in the cart before the horse on that front. But uh, but we need to get our user numbers up. And, uh, and therefore, marketing would seem to be a sensible thing to do. Meanwhile, to keep the research ticking along nicely, we've hired Barry Science uh, to come and take it all by the scruff of the neck and get things done. Uh, Barry's uh, he's a big researcher. Uh, is Baz, and he's going to do an absolutely splendid job for us in uh, in spearheading the uh, the ongoing research for the team. Now then, in order to keep my investors appeased, uh, they've insisted that I start selling ads uh, on Cheerio.com, which, I mean, it doesn't really go against the grain because I've intended to make a monkey load of cash out of this the entire time. But it's meant that I've got to hire some obnoxious salespeople. Now, if you've never come across... Uh, uh, men and it's almost exclusively men who uh, who like to uh, to be the uh, uh, the sales folk in a startup company. Um, they're almost inevitably the same. Uh, they all sit in the middle of the room. Uh, they have uh, they spend most of their time on on the telephone. Uh, when they're not uh, on the telephone, uh, they're out of the office, having announced to everyone that they've got an important meeting to go to. It's total rubbish, of course. They tend to go and play golf. Um, but uh, to give you some idea of what it's like uh, surrounded by uh, salespeople of this kind, I shall now back away from the microphone a little and give you just a sample. All right, Clive, mate. Clive, yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, it's Des. Yeah, Des from Cheerio.com. Yeah, now I've got 5,000 units of, uh, of glucose pills that we need to sell on the site. How do you and your lads want to get behind that and make it happen? Yes, mate. No, no, mate. No, no, no. Yes, mate. Yes, yes. No, mate. No, it's not going to happen. No, that's fine. Yeah, mate. All right, cool. Kushti, catch you later. Yeah, that's pretty much what they sound like while they're in the office. I imagine they sound like that all the time. So I've hired myself a sales guy, and, uh, and his name is Steve Mastodon! Uh, because uh, that's the only volume they know. Uh, so uh, Steve has occupied the centre of the building here, and, uh, and I'm sure he's going to drum up some interest in our ad sales. At least that's what I hope. Now, of course, you can split your uh, ads up into multiple segments throughout the day, and, uh, and in doing so... Uh, what, well, I mean, basically, you can sell double the amount of ads, uh, but you've got to uh, you've got to keep those contracts separate. So if you sell ads for an entire day period, that's your lot. Uh, so I've hired another sales guy, and uh, and pretty much everybody hates them, uh, and that's Jim Big Guns Leviathan. And uh, the conversation basically goes like this: Hi, right, Jim, Jim, mate. Yes, yes, Steve. Uh, Jim, you going to go golfing uh, Friday? Yes, mate. Yeah, yeah, totally masto. I'm, uh, I'm all about the golf, me. Uh, big guns. Uh, what's your handicap at the moment, then? Eh? What? Last I heard, it was a lot. <laughs> oh, don't say that, masto. No, it ain't. And they go on and on and on. Um, but, uh, but they are actually achieving some success vis-a-vis -vis, uh, selling a couple of ads, uh, and that's good. Now then, the next thing that we need to do is we need to upgrade the framework that the site actually hangs off. Uh, more framework means more potential users. More potential users means more ad space that I can then sell uh, using uh, Jim and Steve there to, uh, to their, their greatest level of success, which is super duper. Now, I don't know if you noticed, uh, but Jeff does appear to have commandeered all of the good furniture and has surrounded himself with such. Uh, to punish him for that, I've left him with the uh, the cheap rookie desk uh, rather than giving him the uh, the nice professional desks that everybody else has got. But it won't be too long before he's got some ergonomic self-rising desk uh, with 16 air on chairs kicking around the place and, uh, and uh, a full collection of action figures. Uh, and when he's not... Uh, uh, when he's not on duty, all he's doing is he's perusing uh, classic era Star Wars figures. So, uh, you know, that's Jeff, though. That's, that's what Jeff does. Well, as traffic numbers have started to go up here on day 77, uh, we've needed to take on more staff still. Uh, we've hired Cat Hardcore as another sales uh, 
uh, official. And uh, let's face it, when I said before that it was mostly men that worked in sales, uh, that's if you discount the terrifying women uh, that also worked there as well. Enough respect to the terrifying sales women out there, uh, but they are terrifying. Um, they will they will terrify just about anybody. But I've now got three ad units on the go, and uh, and that's that's jolly helpful um, because it uh, it allows me to effectively triple up the amount of cash that I'm making. We always negotiate to get the best CPM rates uh, from our potential uh, clients, and uh, and Cat is particularly adept at that. Now, as the site has become more successful and we've taken on more traffic, uh, we've needed to up the number of system engineers that we've got. Uh, so I've hired a new one, and he's called Jeff. Uh, and uh, and in order to uh, to really get the most out of the the, uh, the Jeffs, uh, we've hired ourselves a separate building in which to start a server farm, um, and that uh, that should save us quite a significant amount of outlay. Uh, that we've currently been flinging at various cloud service providers. Uh, and this is really what's going to propel us upwards, as, uh, as here we are on day 85, uh, with uh, with best part a quarter of a million registered users. Uh, and with the feature set that we've got, we can max out at about 385k. That's all right, that's not so bad. Uh, the company valuation's only 1.6 million at the moment, but we're going to go north in a hurry uh the only thing we've really got to watch out for is uh is staying on top of server usage at the moment uh the features are all being developed and improving as you can see uh, people like the landing page they love the video functionality um, we've already got thousands of people on a routine basis unfriending as many people as possible and uh, and that's going off like a storm um so uh, so yeah it's all looking pretty peachy for us uh here in day 86 but now we've we've just got to put the work in and, uh, and get to that next level. So as you can see here on day 88, we're currently burning through 125 grand, well, let's call it what it is, 126 grand a month. Um, and uh, and that's okay, because we've got, you know, we're over a quarter of a million in the bank now, uh, but that's still all coming from venture capitalists. Um, so, uh, so the next milestone that I've got to chase after is generating a profit of $1 in the month. Now there's there's a couple of ways we can go about this. I can either sack everyone uh, or I can just sell more ads. So uh, so I'm working on a superior banner advertising module which coupled with the uh, the growing uh, use of the site should mean that I can make quite the pretty penny uh, advertising those uh, those articles about how a lemon uh, will remove cancer and uh, and how a mom from somewhere just up the road from where you live discovered this age-old trick all of that kind of jazz we're going to be we're going to be banging those in and people are going to ruddy love it uh I, well frankly i don't care whether they love it or not it's going to make us an absolute bundle so we've now reached day 100 uh which is splendid and uh, and we're having to uh, to add more uh server racks but uh uh, we've also got some cooling problems going on in the uh, in the data center, so I'm going to have to stick some fans in there to keep it cool. Um, we managed to make profit pretty much immediately after the banner module went live. Uh, that was that was pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, Steve mastered on there, locking in a nice fat contract for us that uh, that pushed us over the uh, over the profit threshold. But our next milestones are big and and that's get to a, hundred, a million, yeah, not a hundred anything, no, a million, get a million registered users on the site. Because uh, then, of course, we can sell that database of users to, well, anybody we please, really, and uh, and make some make some dosh off them that way, because this is all set uh, uh, pre-GDPR. Uh, now, before we push on, it's well worth having a quick look at, uh, uh, at the runners and riders in the offices at the moment. Uh, we've got uh, Jeff and, uh, and Jeff in the IT department. Uh, Sven and, uh, and Tonya somehow have managed not to kill each other, uh, still working away there. The backbone of the company, Cindy and Bingo, uh, are still coding away like demons. They, they don't appear to have got bored yet. Uh, and then Margot and Lance and Frank are combining their output into some of the finest code that you're ever going to see. Now, I want better furniture, uh, well, largely because Jeff and Jeff have nicked all the good stuff so far, and, uh, and therefore we're banging some research into additional furniture options as we speak. 
In the research department, we've also added Cherry Gold Rush into the mix because obviously research points are what it takes in order to have nice furniture. No, you can't just go up IKEA. You've got to research furniture. You've got to you've got to study it long and hard. Um, I'm I'm not entirely convinced that my research department isn't just another name for the HR team, given that that's what they tend to spend their time doing. Oh, what do you think? Do you think do you think we should have the uh, the puce uh, desk coverings? Kind of go well, whatever. But uh, he's currently sitting on a thing made out of a, two planks and a, and a pallet, so uh, so you know something appropriate will be absolutely fine. Uh, we've also added a support technician, possibly a little before time. Uh, again, I've jumped the gun a little bit. Uh, Jen Netflix uh, has come to be our customer support agent, and uh, she spends her days well well watching Netflix because we haven't had any support tickets yet. Um, so, uh, so uh, again, I got in. I got in there early. I wanted to make sure that I was well supported before I needed that support. So here we are now on day 145, and I've I've had to upgrade to another uh, another office um, because there simply wasn't enough space for people. Uh, we've we've hired Myra Sacrificial as our new customer service agent, and she's handling our first ticket. Uh, that has come in hopefully she'll get that done in a suitable amount of time uh, as you can see the uh, uh, the research department has been relocated I gave them a bookshelf uh, thinking perhaps foolishly uh, that they might want to uh, to do some research in a book for once uh, but they're, they're you know they're getting it done uh, the graphics department is uh, is somehow still managing to stay uh, uh, stay effective we've hired Vanessa Le flamboyant uh, who's somewhat French uh, to uh, to come join the team in order to keep things moving. Uh, the sales team has been uh, upgraded with Ricky Romeo joining them as well. Uh, he thinks himself quite the ladies' man, uh, does Ricky, uh, but Cat can't stand him. Meanwhile, I've moved Tallulah up into the corner so that uh, nobody can be overly infected with her strange marketing ideas. Uh, Bumson, I've given a glass office so that he can do some work once in a while. And, uh, and we've added a couple of new developers uh, to, uh, to work on the backbone. Uh, so Barbara Severe and Tintin Hollywood have joined the team. Uh, I kicked Jeff and Jeff out of their bunker and, uh, and they, now, uh, they now live in the corner. Although they did manage to, uh, to tailor plants with them. I've also provided a nice sofa uh, that people can look at. They're not allowed to sit on it, obviously, because they're supposed to be working. Uh, but they can they can look at it and feel that uh, that we truly are uh, a company that's going to take care of its employees. Uh, I've had demands for a corporate ball pit uh, for them to frolic in while having a meeting, uh, but frankly, um, I think that's possibly a step too far. So it's now day 155, and we're doing very well. Uh, the sales team are, are coming up absolute trumps when it comes to uh, to selling their ad space. Uh, we've got 1.2 million in the bank. Uh, having uh, having achieved all the goals, the uh, uh, the investment capitalists have, uh, have really slung in the cash in order to propel us forwards, and uh, and our next objective is a simple one. We've got to buy out one of our competitors. Uh, now our competitors are really quite expensive, so it's going to take a little while for us to get there. Uh, but we've also moved into the age now of uh, of having some managers on board. I'm fed up of giving everybody endless instructions myself. Um, so uh, so I've hired some managers to do that uh, to do that for me. They're going to keep everybody whistling along quite nicely. Um, anyway, it's Meaty Me is the uh, is the company that I've set my sights on and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy well, I don't know, probably about 900 grand's worth of their stock uh, just so that I've got a toe in the door. Uh, their stock price is shrinking at the moment probably due to the fact that, uh, that I'm on the rampage and coming out to get them. Uh, well, you know, I can live with that. That doesn't bother me too much in the slightest. We will come out and get them because uh, we are the superior service. Nobody wants to be friends anymore. Everyone wants to spend their time screaming at each other and, uh, and yelling about their own political persuasion rather than, uh, rather than any kind of listening or just getting on with life. Uh, anyway, that'll pretty much wrap it up. Um, we have... Uh, achieved a great deal of success. Now, all told, this uh, this meteoric uh, rise to uh, to corporate uh, marveldom has taken me in the region of about four hours. Um, and uh, and to be honest, I didn't really notice the time passing. 
uh, to the extent that I got told off for spending all evening playing it. Um, we've got uh, we've got Jackson Clown Car who's managing the uh, the graphics department. Uh, Marjorie Timekeeper is looking after the lead devs, and uh, and Wilf Jerk is uh, is handling the the. Uh, uh, the basic developers. Uh, we've also hired Exponential Tyrone to come and help out in customer service because, uh, the, we, we, well, we've got that amount of demand going on. So there you go. That's uh, that's where we're at, and that is Startup Company, um, a game that I actually picked up uh, over a year ago while it was still in early access uh, because I quite fancy playing it. And when the developers were to, uh, to waft... Uh, a minor amount of dosh under my nose and go, please play this and put a video up. I went, yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. That doesn't seem like too much of a challenge. So it was on my list already. Um, I quite like it. There you go. That's my review. I quite like it. Uh, it's it's not uh, it's not going to uh, challenge you too cerebrally, uh, but it's quite an enjoyable way of passing some time and uh, and building up a company uh, while you do so. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, I'll be back soon with something else that is somewhat similar. Uh, if you've not subscribed previously, try subscribing now. It's relatively effortless, and uh, and in doing so, you will get uh, early access. Uh, to cheerio.com when I launch the real thing because I am a thing that's actually a very good idea. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Cheerio.com I hate you now. Cheerio. Cheerio. Well, there you go. That's uh, that startup company and uh, then that's my first sponsored video. That's fun. Um, yeah, I, if you want to sponsor a video, hit me up. Uh, and, uh, and, we'll, and we'll talk turkey. Uh, yeah, get me all my digits, and uh, and we'll we'll make it happen. We'll do lunch, play golf, all of that kind of jazz. I don't know. You can you know there are simpler ways of doing this, of course. Um, but uh, but there you go. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, now, obviously, given us a sponsored video, you can either take or leave my endorsement of. I quite like it, uh, but by and large, I don't say I quite like it unless I do. So, uh, so you know, you, your, your mileage may vary. Uh, but given that there is uh, filthy lucre involved in this video, well, you can you can trust it or not. I mean, I'll, I'll leave that to your discretion. You're a grown-up. You can make your own mind up. Yeah, yeah, you can. Anyway, I'm off. I've got a brunch with L'Oreal where they want to talk to me about an exciting new line in hair care products, and I am interested.